my dear friends, welcome to series English. On this channel I study two languages, English and Russian, or you can just study one. Anyway, my name is Antonia Ramakar and today we're going to study English. So as you can see, we're going to focus on complex subject. We have already touched upon this problem in my other class, so if you haven't watched it, I strongly recommend to watch it first. And if you are done, now we can study complex subject a little bit more. So in the previous class I uh, taught to you some basics. So the, the basic structure of a complex subject sentence is you use the subject, after that you use passive voice, any tense actually, and then you use infinitive. For example, she is known to be a star. So it means that everybody knows that she is a star. So, today we're going to focus on some more interesting issues. I mean, we're going to focus on sequence of tenses with complex subject. We're going to study two additional constructions which are going to be connected with the past. So, let's take a look. If we use the following construction, we use the subject, then we use passive voice, and we use past simple, and after that we just use infinitive, we get the sentence like she was known to be a star. We say she not she is known but she was known. So we use past simple in the passive form. She was known. In this case it was known, said, believed and so on before that something happened also before. So both parts of this construction are actually connected with the past. So, it was known and she was a star. So, here we deal with the past. So, both parts of the sentence are connected with the past. Let's take a look at another situation, the second one. Here, once again, we are going to deal with the past. So, here we use a subject, then passive, but in present, and per a perfect infinitive. A perfect infinitive is present perfect, but just when you use only have, you don't use has, only have. So, you use have plus the verb in the third form, if it is an irregular verb like make, made, made, well, uh, take, took, taken, or a verb with an ending ed. So, that's a perfect infinitive, so use this construction. For example, she is known to have been a star. Here, it is known, said, believed now that something happened or was before. So the first of the the first part of the sentence is connected with present, but the second one is connected with the past. So here she is known now. So now people know that she was a star. So, to have been a star. Here we use a perfect infinitive have plus the third form of the verb to be. So, that's why she is known to have been a star means that people know now that she was a star before. So, now we'll take a look at two more examples to analyze these two constructions better. There are two examples. Let's analyze them together. So, Albert Einstein was known to be an assistant examiner at a patent office when he was 24. So, he was known. Is it connected with present or past? Past, of course, past simple, passive. So, he was known before to be an assistant examiner. So, he was an assistant examiner. It is connected also with the past, although uh, even though we use just an infinitive to be. But here both parts are connected with the past. By the way, uh, here there is an additional clause and here we uh, use the tense we are supposed to according to the general rules of using different tenses. So we are talking about the past, that's why we use past simple. In the second sentence, Albert Einstein is known to have been an outstanding scientist. So, let's analyze the sentence once again. The first part is connected with present and the second one 
with the past because we use a perfect infinitive have been that's why he is known now so now people know that he was an outstanding scientist before because now unfortunately he's not alive so he's no longer alive so two examples now, I want you to create two examples of your own and you can write them down in the comments so that I could check and analyze your work. I hope that now you get it. I mean, two constructions connected with complex subject, two ways to express ideas connected with present and past. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please push the button, like the video and share it with your friends, colleagues, fr uh, well, family members and so on in different social networks. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you, if you are not subscribed yet, because then you are going to watch a lot of other videos connected with English and you're going to improve it a lot. So hope to see you soon. Happy English and Russian practice! See you! Bye-bye! So, there are two examples, let's analyze them together. Albert Einstein, Einstein, sorry, German. Albert, Albert Einstein,